morning again, guys. Um, just making sure everyone can hear me okay. Um, you should be able to hear me now. Um, if you can't, obviously, as per the on-screen message, uh, make sure that your headphones or speakers are turned on and turned up and that you can hear me talking now. Um, if you can hear me talking, there's no problem at all. Um, we're going to start in just a few minutes. Um, so, yeah, make sure your headphones or speakers are turned on and turned up so you can hear me okay now. Good morning, guys. Uh, my name is Thomas Fraser Bacon. Uh, I'll be hosting today's webinar where we'll be covering the features of our new uh, battery powered digital A board. Um, anybody that obviously can't hear me now, make sure your speakers are turned up, make sure your headphones are turned on, etc., uh, as per the on screen message here now. Um, 
So any questions you have along the way, please feel free to use the chat box um, to ask them, and then we'll cover those in the questions and answers section later on. Um, so there's a few people um, not being able to hear any sound. Um, there's a few that are able to hear. If you are able to hear me, if you could just let me know in the chat box now. Yeah, so there are some people, so I don't think there's a general issue. If you can't hear me or if you have any connection issues along the way, um, the webinar will be available to download. Uh, it'll be available on YouTube within the next few days anyway, so don't worry too much. Um, so before we get started, I just want to go through uh, today's agenda. Um, so the first part will give a, an introduction, a little bit of background on this type of technology. This will last around five minutes. Um, then we'll go through a product overview, covering all the product's features. This will last about 15 to 20 minutes. Then we'll go through uh, some general update methods. If our all-in-one system is being used, this will last about five or 10 minutes. Then we'll have a questions and answers sec uh, session at the end. Um, like I say, any questions you have along the way, um, please feel free to ask in the chat box and we'll cover those later on. Okay, so just to start, um, just to give an introduction. Um, so before talking about the features, I just want to give a little bit of background. Um, first of all, the general opportunity. So based on the number of inquiries we've had um, over the last few years, especially increasingly so over the last few years, uh, this, there's definitely an opportunity on the market for this type of technology where mains power isn't always available. Um, some key locations that we get inquiries for are transport hubs, such as train station platforms, airports, bus stations, and so forth. Um, cafes and restaurants, so to replace kind of static um, A boards without any kind of screens involved. And also retail locations in shopping centers, so outside of shops in shopping centers is a, is a key location as well. Um, traditionally, um, these type, types of projects have been impractical um, because they've been too expensive and also battery technology has had to kind of keep up where batteries need to be changed or recharged throughout the day, which obviously incurs too much kind of manual user intervention. Um, over the last 12 years, we've been involved in multiple kind of battery projects. As you can see, there's a few examples on screen now. Um, from previous projects we've done. We've done indoor, outdoor, touch, non-touch. Um, so we do have experience in this field. Um, and now obviously back battery technology have got to the point where we can develop this product, um, which is commercially viable um, as a core product. Um, so now that leads me on to the product overview itself. Um, so we'll be going through all the features um, in a little bit more detail, but just to give a general overview, obviously of these of these features. So obviously the main feature is that it's battery powered. It also has a 700 candela panel, high brightness panel. There's a tempered glass front and a stylish white enclosure. There's an ambient light sensor. It's a portable solution and there's an internal Android media player. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through each of these points individually and just give a, a bit of a demonstration um, on the main section of the screen here. Um, so the first point, the battery powered um, point, so there's an integrated lithium polymer battery. Um, the reason we went for this, this technology is that it's robust, so it's more suitable for commercial use. It's lightweight, so it's more suitable for a portable solution. Um, it's also more stable than lithium iron, again, making it more suitable for commercial use. It also degrades slower than lithium iron. Um, we wanted to offer a full three year warranty on the whole product um, rather than just the screen itself. Um, as you can see on screen here, there's also a charge level indicator, um, which lets you know how much charge is left in the battery. Um, it's a seven hour charge with also a 12 hour running time. Um, though through our testing from brand new, um, you, you're likely gonna be able to get a lot more than 12 hours. That's what the battery spec'd at. Um, but from our testing, you can get up to or beyond 30 hours, depending on the, the environment that it's in, um, the, the, the brightness of the content and so forth. Um, but the, the battery itself is spec'd at 12 hours. Um, and it can also be safely, consistently powered from the mains, directly from the mains. Um, the charger that it comes with uh, prevents overcharging, so that's completely safe to do as well if, if you need to do that. Um, the next point is the 700 Candela um, IPS panel. Um, so as you can see, it's, it's slightly brighter than a, a normal, kind of our normal 450 Candela panel. Um, again, this makes it ideal for high brightness locations such as shopping centers. It's not quite as high brightness as our window displays, so 1,500 or 2,500 Candela, but it's definitely you know, 
going to make an impact in, in high brightness situations like shopping centers. Um, the next point is the tempered glass front and the stylish white enclosure. So obviously the tempered glass front offers protection to the LCD panel in commercial spaces. Um, and the white enclosure, um, based on our R&D, we're, we're kind of moving more towards um, developing more white products rather than black. Um, it's a lot more kind of stylish, a lot more modern. Also, obviously, distinguishes it from, from domestic TVs and so forth. Um, you'll notice that on this um, model here, we've got an All-C logo at the bottom. As standard, it comes completely unbranded, like all of our other products. Um, if your customer wants to have their own logo here, we can provide that service, or you can get a, a vinyl logo um, created. Um, it kind of adds that extra little bit of um, bespoke to the, to the project. Um, so the next feature is the ambient light sensor. Now we're going to play a demo here. Um, now on the demo, there is a bit of auto brightness correction, so it, it is quite a hard feature to demonstrate, but it does have an ambient light sensor um, just here, which basically maximizes the battery life. So in this demonstration here, in a high brightness situation, you're going to get the full brightness, the 700 candela um, brightness of the panel. In a dark situation, you, it's going to drop down to 450 candela. Um, like I say, it's quite difficult to demonstrate um, on, on camera, but in, the, in person, it's a, it's a great demonstration for your customers. I can actually try and do a quick demonstration now to see if we get a better result on the webcam. So you see it goes a little bit brighter there, but then the brightness uh, auto adjust kicks in. And then if I cover that, it should go a little bit darker. There we go. So you can see that, uh, like I say, it's a much much more impactful demonstration in, in the flesh. Um, the next point is portability. So one of the most, you know, the key um, factors when developing this product was that we could make it portable so that anyone can move it around. So in this demonstration, it just shows the caster locks being taken off. You lean the screen forward, then the hinges are unlocked, wheels go forward, lean the screen back, and then it can be moved around. Once it's moved into position, you can then, again, holding the handle, lean the screen forward, move those caster wheels back, so the hinges lock into place, and then lock the caster wheels. So just from a slightly different angle, unlock the caster wheels, lean the screen forward, unlock the hinges, push those wheels forward, lean the screen back, you can then easily move it around. As you can see, one person can easily move this screen around. And then lean the screen forward, once it's in the location, pull those caster wheels back, lock the hinges, and then lock the caster wheels in place. So as you can see, it's a very, portable solution. As I say, it was one of the most important features when we were developing this product that it could be easily maneuver, you know, maneuvered by one person. Um, the next feature is internal Android media player. So as a lot of our partners are already aware, um, it already comes with our built-in Queen's Award winning um, all-in-one system. Um, so if you're running our own app, you can update by plug and play, or you can update over network, um, or if you do want to run a third party software on there, that's absolutely fine. Just like most of our other key core product ranges, um, it has the built-in Android player, the same built-in Android player. Um, so the first update method I'm just going to demonstrate here is plug and play. So simple standalone solution for easy and fast updates. Um, you plug the USB stick into the laptop or PC, copy your images and videos over, unplug the USB stick from the laptop or PC, plug that into the screen. The screen will then read the USB stick, copy those files over, and then ask you to remove the USB stick. Once you remove the USB stick, it's then gonna play those files in a continuous loop. So as I was saying, um, it's ideal for customers who have limited resources or limited budget. Literally anybody can go through that process. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, the other method is network. So there's two options for this, Wi-Fi or LAN. So first of all, to demonstrate Wi-Fi. So you literally just screw the Wi-Fi aerial in. And then the next part is to input your password. And again, our, pa our partners who are familiar with this process from our other network screens will, will, will kind of, you know, this will look very familiar to them. Um, you literally just 
choose your Wi-Fi network, just like you were connecting a laptop or a phone or a tablet to a network. Choose the network, you put your password in. Once you put your password in, obviously then you, your screen will get a local connection to the network and then it will communicate with our CMS server and then you can update it from our online portal. So as you can see in this demo, connected to that network and then when you go back to the home screen in the bottom right hand corner you'll see two green ticks once it's connected to the local network and logged into the server and then you can update it from the portal the other network uh, method is lan so this would only really apply if you're connecting the screen to the mains constantly but again for this you literally just plug the ethernet cable into the lan port and make sure it's selected onto lan work mode and that's it uh, again, that would only really apply if you kind of constantly pairing the screen from the mains and not making most of the you know, making use of the battery power. Um, so that's it in terms of the product overview, guys. Um, we're now going to move on to the questions and answer session. So thank you all for your um, patience um, at, at the start of the webinar, and thank you all for your attention. Um, we're just going to set up for a few minutes on the questions and answer session. Um, if you have any questions now, feel free to ask, or we're gonna answer any that were asked during the um, webinar. Um, if you have any other questions later on, please feel free to email the email address that's on screen now, which is webinar at allc-tech.com. Thank you very much. Hi guys, um, can you all hear me okay? If anyone can hear me, can you just type into the box if that's okay? Brilliant. Okay, um, so first of all, again, thank you for your patience, guys, uh, and thank you for your attention. Um, you, you're absolutely welcome, anyone that's kind of thanked me on here, that's no problem at all, it's my pleasure. Um, the first thing I'd like to say is obviously anyone with technical difficulties, apologies, um, it doesn't seem like there were any general issues. Obviously, there was a few people that couldn't hear me okay, uh, a few people that couldn't see the videos. Um, I think they're probably gonna be either flash related or something uh, at, at your end, but not to worry. We will be sending out an email shot um, within the next few days with a YouTube link. Any questions you've got at that point, just click reply to the email and we'll come back to you with answers straight away anyway. Um, so don't worry too much about that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through uh, some of the questions that were asked. Um, so the first one is about the official release date. Um, we actually officially launched um, these displays at the beginning of April. Um, we should have got an email shot about that. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't, like I say, just, just have a chat with your account manager um, just to make sure you're on our kind of email shot list. You should be, because obviously you got the email shot for this one. Um, we do have these units in stock now. So again, if you need to know about stock levels or pricing or anything like that, um, please chat to your account manager and they should be able to help you with, with anything along those lines. Um, okay. So with regards to um, something to protect fingers, um, I think the, the important thing is to understand how, how what the kind of maneuvering process is. Um, we're gonna be creating a video for this just so people are kind of aware of any kind of issues. I mean, it, it, it's the same as if you were kind of using a normal A board really, um, you'd still have the same kind of consideration. Um, as long as I think it's being used by a, a sensible adult, there shouldn't be any issues with that. Um, and also, um, there's another question about, is it sturdy enough for kids to walk into? Um, again, it has been through tip testing. If it's, if it's kind of expanded, you get the same kind of um, sturdiness as a, as, a, as a normal kind of static A board. Um, if someone's trying to tip it over, then obviously they'll, they'll be able to tip it over in, this, you know, in the same way as our kind of normal freestanding displays. If I'm being completely honest, I've never encountered a situation like that. Um, obviously, these, these displays won't be kind of too far away from any, um, you know, any any shop that they're located at, because obviously they're not outdoor, they're not waterproof, so they will kind of just be on on, on the doorstep, if you like. Um, so I, I don't think there'll be any issues there. Um, there's also, um, Jerry's asked, any plans for an outdoor or weather version? Um, we do actually have um, an outdoor version in development at the moment. It's in the early stages of development, um, but we should hopefully have that ready by next year for launch. Um, it will be a hopefully a higher brightness panel, um, most likely be a little bit smaller to keep costs down because obviously it will be um, IP65 rated like our, our other outdoor displays, um, but we do have that in development. 
Um, Cameron's asked, is there a device support package per month? Um, so we provide free lifetime technical support on all of our products. Um, if you need a SLA, like a service level, a level agreement or something along those lines, again, it's probably best to speak to your account manager um, to see if something like that can be set up. We don't have a kind of standard SLA out of the box solution, um, but depending on what the requirements are, we're more, you know, more than happy to provide a solution for that. Um, Kate's asked um, in the spec sheet, men uh, mentions overcharging the battery. Uh, are you able to explain this? Uh, and can it run? Uh, can you run it plugged in, or should uh, should you wish to? So yes. Um, so basically, the way that the charger works, um, you, you can plug it in from the mains, and the the, the charger um, prevents overcharging in the sense that it's completely safe to have it plugged into the mains twenty four seven. Um, it's not going to kind of overheat or explode like the, you know, um, some previous um, smartphones that were on the market. Um, but if you wanted to kind of maximize the life of, of, of the battery inside the unit, um, you're probably better off, you know, charging it overnight and then coming back in, taking it off charge. If you want to charge it from the mains, it's absolutely safe to do so, but it will kind of reduce your battery life over time. Um, Another question from Paul, is it external IP rated? So like I say, this version is an indoor product. We do have an outdoor product in development at the moment, um, which hopefully should be ready to launch uh, next year at some point. Um, again, just, just kind of watch this space really. Any, anything like that, you can, you can kind of get updates from your account manager or when, when, we do, when we are ready to launch, obviously we'll add it to the website and we'll also send out an email shot to our partners as well. Okay, uh, Mark, sorry that you lost, that you had any technical issues. Like I say, um, we will be sending out an email shot um, with a, a link to the YouTube video. Um, and any questions you have, you can just email back from that to that email address. Um, but it will have all the, all the audio, all the videos, everything on there. So there shouldn't be any issues with that. Um, Paul, uh, has it any vandal resistance qualities? So the, the tempered front glass um, is the same as our um, PF range. Um, so it's six mil thick. Um, so it does have, and, and again, that, that's, that's quite tough glass. Um, so it is vandal resistant to an extent. Um, again, if someone wants to smash the glass, if they want to, you know, if they, if they take a hammer to it, then obviously they're going to be able to smash the glass, but it'll be very difficult to, to smash the glass just from you know your your fist or you know without any kind of external tools. Okay, Cameron, you're more than welcome, and Robert, you're more than welcome. Um, Kieran, is the battery replaceable by all seeing the future? Yes, absolutely. Um, so if if for whatever reason I don't anticipate again, we offer a three year warranty on on the hardware itself. Um, which, which obviously covers hardware failure. Um, if, if the battery failed completely, obviously we would cover the cost to return to base, cover the cost to you know, replace the battery and also cover the cost to send it back to yourself. Um, in terms of after that warranty period, if the battery just you know, slowly degraded over time, then absolutely a replacement battery will be available to purchase. Um, and, and as you say, it would have to be replaced by us, um, but that's, that's not a problem either. You're more than welcome, Kieran. And you're also more than welcome, Kate. Okay, guys, do we have any other questions at this stage? Like I say, if you think of any later on, um, if one just pops into your head later today, you can always email the email address that's on screen at the moment, which is webinar at allc-tech.com, and someone will come back to you straight away. Oh, sorry, I did, I did miss out one question. Sorry, Christian. Um, we don't currently have any um, plans for a touch version at the moment. However, again, just based on, if I just go back to the, um, the slide showing some previous um, projects that we've done, um, the version in the middle here, that's, an, that's a battery powered outdoor touch screen. Um, so we have, we have done projects in the past for, for battery powered touch, like I say, indoor, outdoor, um, so if, if you had a, you know, a project that required that, I'm not sure what the minimum quantity would be. Again, better off speaking to your account manager about the details. Um, but at the moment, we don't have any current plans to, to develop a, a touch version as a standard product. Um, but Christian, please speak to your account manager 
and they can help you you know if you if you do have a project that requires this then that won't be a problem at all more than welcome raymond i'm glad you found it useful more than welcome christian okay guys was there any other questions at this point or anything that i didn't cover or anything that people want me to go over again you too robert you're more than welcome Hi Ben, no problem at all. Um, we'll be sending out an email shot with a link to the YouTube video um, and that will have all the audio on there. Um, I'll just type that as well for anyone that can't hear me. Oh, sorry, Ben. Um, sorry, the this, this screen does have speakers. Apologies about that. They're the same slimline speakers that are found in our freestanding, um, our normal mains powered freestanding screens. Um, so again, for the for most cases, they should be fine. But again, one thing I suppose you've got to keep in mind is if these screens are being placed outside of uh, like a shop, for example, in a shopping centre, um, it's going to be there's going to be a lot of ambient noise. So even if they had really kind of powerful speakers. It may not be kind of um you know up to the task if you like um but they do have built-in speakers yes no problem at all ben okay guys was there any other questions at this stage like i say if you think of any later on today you can always email the email address on screen now which is webinar at allc-tech.com um, if not, I'll just give it another couple of minutes and then we'll, we'll close the webinar. Okay, guys, it looks like most people are, are, are leaving now. So um, once again, I'd just like to thank everyone for their attention today. Um, again, if you have any other questions, email webinar at allc-tech.com. I'm more than happy to come back to you. Um, or if you need anything else at all, either contact your account manager or you can email that same email address. Take care. Thanks again, guys.